So, nutrition is defined as the science of nourishing the body. Simply, we can say it is the science of nourishing the living organisms. Nutrition is defined as the utilization of food by living organisms. This nutrition promotes man's development, his health and welfare of the society. Food is the fuel source of body. The ingested food will go metabolism and liberates energy. This energy is utilized by the body for growth, maintenance of body tissues and regulation of body processes. The study of nutrition is generally divided into three areas. First one is the ideal nutrition, second one is undernutrition, third one is overnutrition. Coming to ideal nutrition, Ideal nutrition is nothing but the balanced diet. It is concerned to all of us. Second one is the under nutrition. It is mainly concerned to the under developing countries. And over nutrition is a serious concern of developed countries. Now, we will see about balanced diet. Balanced diet is also called as ideal nutrition. It is called ideal nutrition. The diet that contains proper proportions of required elements for maintenance of growth and health. Simply we can say the diet which contains proper proportions of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, Rafes and adequate amounts of water to maintain good health and mind. Balanced diet is essential for healthy weight and healthy mind. Coming to the effects of effects of diet. Effects of diet. So if uh, the effects will arise due to improper, due to improper intake and also due to over intake. Coming to the improper intake, loss of fatigue, failure of growth, failure of development, next easy growth to infections. If it is not recognized, it may lead to Next, coming to the effects of over diet. Effects of over diet. So, over diet leads to obesity. That means it leads to weight gain, unhealthy weight gain, and development of insulin resistance so that there is a chance of development of diabetes. If it is not recognized, it may lead to obesity which ultimate result in heart attacks, heart conditions, heart failures and finally it also leads to death. So, we have to take a proper diet. So, overeating, undereating will lead to adverse effects. So, an ideal diet or a balanced diet is suggested. So, what is a balanced diet? A diet which contains adequate amounts of nutrients, nutrients, that means carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, proteins, lipid, proteins, roughage, and adequate amounts of water should be taken. In addition to this, regular exercise will keep a healthy weight, gain, and healthy mind. Simply, 
the people who are interested to lose weight or the people whose goal is to lose weight will consume a diet containing single nutrient. That means they will come uh, continuously eat protein diet, avoiding, totally avoiding carbohydrates and fats. It's not correct. Why means the carbohydrates and fats which are present in the diet will supply energy which is required to maintain the normal activities of the body. To maintain the normal activities of the body. So, we have to consume a diet which contains all requirements, nutrients that are required. So, it is best to keep a minimum amount of carbohydrates and fats in order or besides curtailing them. Curtailing them. So, finally I conclude that overeating, undereating will affect our health. And a simple diet containing a simple diet containing only one nutrient is not suggested. It is it is compulsory to have a balanced diet. Now coming to the calorific values of food. Calorific values of food. So what do you mean by calorific values of food? I said earlier that the food we ingested will undergo metabolism in our body and it liberates energy. This energy is used for maintenance of growth, maintenance of body tissues and regulation of body activities. So the amount of energy that is liberated by complete oxidation of food material in the body liberates certain amount of energy and that energy is called calorific value of that food. For example, if we consider the calorific values of the main nutrients which are present in our diet, Carbohydrates, it is 4. So, carbohydrates will liberate 4 kilocalories of energy. Fats, 9 kilocalories. And proteins, liberates 4 kilocalories. So, there is a difference in the amount of energy liberated within the body, and if we calculate it in raw calculator. So, this difference. This difference is due to, in case of proteins, the value, calcium value within our body and in the bone calculator varies. Why means proteins are not completely digested or not completely oxidized. They undergo excretion in the form of urea and ammonia. So the calcium values of proteins in the body is different from the bone calculator values. Now coming to the value of carbohydrates which is 4.1 and 4 and fat 9.4 and 4. So the values of carbohydrates and fats are nearer or we can simply say the value calcium values of carbohydrates and fats are one the same. Why means fats and carbohydrates completely undergo oxidation and they liberate the same amount of energy. That is the main reason. So, we have to remember that the calorific value is calculated in the bone calorimeter and in our body for the carbohydrates and fats are one and the same. Why means they are completely utilized by the body. In case of proteins, the value is different. Within the body, the value will be less. Why means here, the proteins after the addition they will be excreted in the form of ammonia and urea. So, this is about the calcium values of different foodstuffs. Now, we will see how the calcium value of food is determined. So, the calcium value is nothing but the amount of energy liberated by one gram of nutrients on complete combustion or on complete oxidation. And this amount of heat or energy is measured in the form of heat by bone calculator. So, 
What is the instrument that is used to determine the calculation of calcium values of food means worm calorie meter. The name itself indicates calorie meter. Calorie meter. So what do you mean by calorie meter? Meter is nothing but the instrument which measures. Calorie means it is the unit of energy. And here the food is taken in the form of a, it is taken in a cup like vessel which is called as a bomb. Hence the instrument is named as bomb calorie meter. So, warm calorie meter is nothing but the instrument which is used to measure the amount of heat liberated by the foodstuffs. So, coming to the labels present in the warm calorie meter. So, the main labels present in the warm calorie meter is magnetic stirrer, motorized stirrer. So, what is the main function of this motorized stirrer? It will stir the water present in the warm calorie meter. So that the temperature will be evenly spread throughout the water. And the second one is electrical lead for lightning sample. The electrical lead, that means in order to ignite the food material, a power should be generated. So this is the anode and this is the cathode. So nothing but the anode and the cathode is the electrical lead for igniting sample. What do you mean by igniting? Means combustion. So, burning in presence of oxygen is called ignition. And the third one is a thermometer. So, a thermometer. So, thermometer is nothing but the instrument which is used to measure the temperature. So, with the help of temperature uh, thermometer, we will measure the changes in the water. We will measure the initial temperature of water and the final temperature of water with the help of that. And now, we will see the body of the bone cap. So, bomb calorimeter is nothing but an insulated container. It is an insulated container. So, what do you mean by insulated container? The term insulated itself indicates here there is no exchange of heat between the system and the environment. So, the heat which is liberated by the food material will be contained within the system. So, it is called as insulated chamber or it is an insulated container. And the important label in this bomb calculator is oxygen inlet. Oxygen inlet. So what do you mean by oxygen inlet means? The inlet, it is a passage for the uh, entry of oxygen. So here we said that ignition. Here the food material is ignited. So for the ignition, what is uh, oxygen is required. So we are providing the required oxygen through this inlet. And one condition is that we have to provide oxygen in this container at the rate of 300 pounds per square inch. So, within the bomb kilometer, the pressure inside is 300 pounds per square inch. Next, coming to the bomb. What do you mean by bomb? So, bomb is nothing but the cup shaped vessel in which the sample is pressed and placed. So, the bomb, bomb is nothing. In the cup shaped vessel in which the food material is kept. Next one is um, we have to fill a container that is calorie meter with no amount of water. No amount of water. So I am again saying see, warm calorie meter, it is an instrument used to measure the temperature, measure the calcium value of the food. So, here the main label is present now. Bone calorie meter is nothing but the container which is insulated, and this container is having a motorized stirrer. Second one is the anode cathodes. Third one is the thermometer. Thermometer. It is containing thermometer. And then inlet for oxygen, oxygen inlet, and a cup shaped vessel, a cup shaped vessel in which the food is taken, then it is filled with, calorie meter is filled with no amount of water. Next, coming to the procedure. So, what is the procedure? Means the food material whose calorific value is to be determined. That is mainly one gram or two grams according to your wish to take the food material, press it, and place in the Bowl, cup shaped bowl. Then, through the oxygen inlet, 
create a condition of 300 tons per square inch. The pressure within the side. Calorimeter should be 300 tons per inch, square inch. And that fill the calorimeter with known amount of water. For example, that place the bomb. So when we are placing something into the water, what will happen to that way of the substance? The water will be expelled out. Where that amount of water is. Then, first, break the initial temperature of water. Then, after keeping the pressure within the box uh, container, ignite, ignite it. So, once ignition is started, what will happen? The food present in the cup bowl will start burning. And as a result, amount of heat will be liberated. And that liberated heat will be transferred to the water which is present surrounding the bowl. So, with the help of normal stirrer, stir the water continuously. And with the help of thermometer, note the temperatures regularly. Finally, finally, after the complete combustion of after the complete combustion of um, food material, food material, note the temperature of the water. That will be the final temperature of the water. So here, now it's time to calculate the calorific value of the food. For example, for example, I have taken two grams of wheat, and I have to Calculate the amount of heat or energy liberated from this wheel. So first, what is the condition? Take the two grams weight accurately. Two grams of wheel. Place it in the bowl shape vessel. Before that, fill the container with water. Move the initial temperature. And then ignite the sample. So during the ignition process, Temperature will be increasing it within the container. So, by regular stirring, not the temperature. By regular stirring, not the temperature. So, once the ignition is completed, the final temperature is noted, then calculate the amount of heat liquid. How we will calculate means? For example, 2 grams of heat is taken. Then, the water within the container will be 3000 and because after placing the bowl of sample, 500 grams of water is expelled. So, total water content will be 3500 grams. The initial temperature will be 24 degrees centigrade. The final temperature is loaded as 26 degrees centigrade. So, the difference in the temperature will be the rising temperature that is 26 minus 24 degrees centigrade. Is nothing but 2 degrees centigrade. So multiply this 2 with 3500 grams. We will get 7000 calories, which is nothing but 7 kilograms. So amount of heat liberated by 2 grams of heat is 7000 kilocalories. From this, we can calculate 1 gram. 1 gram heat liberates 7000 by 2, that means 3500. Calories, which is nothing but 3.5 kilograms. Thank you.